if a series an converges then then n nth term that is an converges to zero n nth term converges to zero since since an is convergent this is given therefore by definition limit of partial sum sn exist say equal to l say equal to l therefore but but as sin is equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a n minus 1 plus a n now for this up to this what i can write s n is the first n term and s n n minus 1 is the first n minus 1 term plus a n i can write like this so this i take left side so sn minus sn minus 1 is equal to an i can write this now take limit so or an is equal to sn minus sn minus 1 now apply the limit n approach to infinity a n limit n approach to infinity s n minus limit n approach to infinity as n minus one. Now, because it is here we already have supposed that s n converges to l. That means this is l. Obviously. S n minus also minus one also converts to L, and from here it is zero. So, so, so limit or simply you can say A n converts to zero. That means this is equal to zero, or you say A n converts to zero. Now, what about the converts? What about the converts? Converts, sorry, is not true because. Because if I take the series one by n, one by n, then one by n approach to zero, we know that. But, but, but series the sequence n term converges to zero, but the series is not. convergent 